Good morning, folks. This is Darth Ravage here. So I'm coming to you today with a new kind of video review. We're going to take a closer look at Transformers 1 B127, also known as Bad Acetron. But before we get into that video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, all the stuff down below. Thanks again for watching. And like I was saying, here is B127 in his box. And there's the back of the box. You get to see him in 15 steps from robot to vehicle and back again and then pause and scan here and that'll hopefully help you find your copy of b127 let's take a closer look what all comes inside the box you get this nice set of clearly marked instructions and his simplistic transformation what you can do with his weapons they will both fit on his arm stacked tandem together or you got the blaster in the left arm the uh, cyber knife of doom in his left arm gets into his vehicle mode robot mode in 15 steps there and like i said it's pretty pretty neat and intuitive little transformation there b127 comes with two accessories he has his cyber knife blade of doom and his pew pew that will fit over his left arm but you can also take and combine these just like so and affix to the left arm like that in robot mode and in vehicle mode they just simply tab into the top of the car looks really really silly but something you can do with it and looking at b127 in his vehicle mode we're going to do a sans the weapons he looks really really awesome he has some nice paint work there on the side nicely done in the front oh the other accessory is the front of the car it covers up his transformation cog which looks like a matrix and these wheels roll super duper good i mean this guy is awesome keep going around to the back end you can see he's got tail lights actually painted to a cybertronian mode and he's not sans wheels but they are really really nicely pinned wheels this should be a act moving forward it is a top-notch class act got some awful waffles in the bottom but the way that the transformation works he will have quite a bit of hollowness in his robot mode that's left to much to be desired this is this stuff this this thing does some really clever uh transformation work and it locks together nicely into his vehicle mode it looks just like it does there in a the movie i don't like the gappage there in the top kind of wish there was you know another panel there hopefully the studio series or the other versions or even eventually the masterpiece versions will you know do it justice but this is not bad this is geared for the younger kids and what have you or the young at heart but all the same I do believe that you might be able to even put that other stuff forward there maybe nope but you cannot it's only meant to go in the top there so weapon storage if you desire i think that looks dumb and dorky could have fit into some kind of little crevice or space there but the other stuff is you know at a premium you can see that stuff that we'll get into robot mode right here in just a moment but there you go guys there's all that Let's get B127 or Bad Isotron into his robot mode. And here is B127 in his robot mode. He's very clean looking all the way around. Just a little bit of hollowness in his heel spurs. Kind of does that stuff there really, really good. And when you get the robot mode up and you look at that robot mode face, this this really is something else, guys. Even for you know for the younger generation and crowd. The transformation is not overly complex. It does have a couple of spots where they could quite pinch their fingers with this little transformation joint in the shoulders here. This arm tends to pop off way too easy when you go to transform it because it does like a double like clutch pivot to get back into vehicle mode. It's kind of cleverly done. We'll go ahead and get into that articulation and get all the way around there to head due to the transformation joint. I want to say it looks like you can like go up further, but like that's as far up as you get you get some up and down there uh arms can they're on a ball and socket joint and that kind of just pops that off the ball <laughs> like boom it's that easy to pop them off and i don't like that part it does got a, a hinge to get that much there zero in the wrist because of the waffle fixed studio series kind of thing it's not a studio series but they borrowed that from that engineering that drives me crazy when they, they could have clearly give us a wrist swivel here with that joint there. 
I don't like the stuff on the ball joints there. Same thing with the legs, they're on ball joints as well. It's like they took that Earth Spark, combined it with some more Studio Series, cyberversed it to a degree, but the cyberverse is not without that hollowness is for being able to combine our wars back in that leg as you can see like right here it does do that combiner wars back in thing so that transformation is kind of nice it does click into very good you do get upper thigh swivel if you can get the arms up out of the way i won't you can't get the full t because it pops off the ball joint you probably can't get the full van damage because it's on a ball joint but that's about as far as you can go there there's still quite a bit of articulation there you got the above the knee swivel there right below the thigh you get that much in the knee and then you do get a ankle rocker but due to how this comes and folds up into the ankle it loses the ankle rocker so none of that really makes sense you do got a peg that you can do some flying jumping poses and he is quite posable even still he has his shortcomings as i will demonstrate with the next shot here so you can manage some action poses with this guy he's just not i don't like the, I don't like that decision making there on the back side of the wrist. It could have been just a, a mushroom peg and retain the, the wrist swivel. I don't like being able to peg stuff in and it doesn't come out easily when it comes to unpegging that from the arm. But he does got his pew pew here and his cyber blade hand there. And I don't like the waffling for not... This is for engineering and for the transformation. And I still feel like it could have had something pop out off of that, but therein it's, it's dear for a child and they try to keep it simpler and it doesn't need, they could still do the simple and have the engineering there in place. This is a really, really, really fun bot all the same. And I, I didn't expect to say that. Let's get into some final thoughts on B127. Some final thoughts on B127. This thing sure does impress me even with its simplicity it's simple storage features the whole light and lot i think the paint work is great where they did use paint i feel like some of the detailing got lost because it didn't have the panels or something there and it's got a lot of great detail work you go back and do that stuff and then the only things negative about it is they should have had some wrist swivel on a mushroom peg stopped adopting this because this would be a total package for any young one and it still is to a degree i mean you can turn this into like a flights flight thing you know with that pew pew there in the back they lost the uh, ankle articulation rockers but i mean it, stop stop shortcutting the engineering is there just fin go to the finish line with it really and i mean where this is a 20 dollar price point i can't excuse it because they, they did put higher end engineering into a young a figure that's geared at a younger crowd but this is also make a great dust bot for anybody that wants something to fiddle with if they're at work and you're on the phone with somebody and you have a fiddle bot that kind of thing or a rubik's cube that's what these are to me they're like great dust bots so i i highly recommend this even still with its shortcomings a lot of fun i didn't expect to like any of these mainline guys like i do i think they call them prime changers and they're a lot of fun thanks again for watching my channel make sure to like share subscribe all the stuff down below thank you for your time and attention help me grow to 2k guys by you know spread help my channel continue to grow subscribing and liking and that kind of thing i do thank you all that have joined the journey so far you guys totally rock have a great day until all are one guys take care